Hello everyone. This tutorial is on extrude command. Let's start understanding the extrude command. The basic function of extrude command is to offer the third dimension to the sketch entity like this. So this is how extrude works. It will offer the third dimension to the entity so that we could have a 3D in the part modeling. Now I'm going to just cancel this and in this video I'm going to talk about the limits only of extrude and later options will be get covered in the later videos. So we'll just cancel this. Now let's understand the extrude command like what are the different options which are provided in the limits. The very first option regarding the extrude command is section. Here we have to select the section which is going to be get extruded. Later on the direction vector is always going to be normal to the sketch and later on we have the limits. In the limits we have start and end. Here we have to give the distances in the case of value. Now let's understand. First of all I am going to select the connected curves in the section and just click on it. Now here you can see in the end I am getting some value here like this. This is currently 30. So this is how we can use the extrude command. Now let's understand some advanced features related to the start and end with the same option as value. Now I am going to select the curve. Here the start is 0 which I am going to change as 10. Now you can see this has been shifted upwards as I have entered the value as 10 in the start. That's the reason it has been shifted upwards. Now the overall length of this part is going to be 20. Why so? Because 30 minus 10 is going to be 10. So this is how it works. Now if I just enter the value as minus 10, so the overall length will be 40. So this is how you can utilize the option of start and end with the option as value. Now the next option we have is symmetric value. In the case of symmetric value like this is 30. So it will be like 15 upwards and 15 downwards of this sketch. This is symmetric option. Now let's again go to the until next. In the case of until next it will get extruded up to the next intersection. Let me just show you. If I just activate this uh, until next. Now just reset the command for once. And uh, I'm going to show this until next. Going to hide this extrude. Now select this curve and I'm going to put the option as until next. And this is going to be nothing. Now you can see the extrude has been automatically placed with the option of until next as it has extended the 3D up to the next intersection. So this is the option of until next. Now we have the next option as until selected. Just activate this until extended and until selected. Now in case if I want to extrude this until selected, that means up to the phase I am going to tell the software. So I'm going to tell the software that I need the extrude up to this phase. So I am going to select the until selected. And in the case of until selected, it is important that the surface must intersect completely with the extruded body. Now the next option we have until extended. In the case of until extended, it is going to have the virtual intersection. Let me just show you, like you can see, extrude to the virtual intersection of the face. Suppose this face is not completely intersecting with this extrude. Let me just show you from the side view like this. So you can see this is not completely intersecting with the extruded body. So that's the reason I'm going to choose the until extended so that we could have the virtual intersection. I'm going to click on this. Now you can see this has been extruded until extended. That means the virtual intersection of this face with the extruded part. Now just click on OK. This is how we have covered the several options which are value, symmetric value, until selected, until extended and until next. Now let's understand the option of the through all. For that I am going to hide all of this. Now just go to the through all. I am going to hide extrude as well. 
now we have our sketch here suppose in case if i want to give the cut here with the option as subtract from this face up to this face or you can see us through all the body for that we have an option as through all now let's go to the curve this is going to be the curve the direction is going to be get reverse here it's the reverse toggle now here we have the option of through all now you can see with the through all option it is going to automatically pass through the entire body now just click on show result before that i am going to give the boolean as subtract now click on show result now you can see it has given the hole to the entire body from this face up to the last face of the body now just click on ok now again go to extrude to check what is left in the limits we have covered value symmetric value until next until selected until extended through all we have left with offset from selected now let's understand the offset from selected so for that i am going to hide this extrude and this one also we have a datum plane here add some offset value just double click on it to check the value like this is 20 so we just go to extrude i'm going to select the connected curves so that i can perform this selection in the single click now we have offset from selected I'm going to select this. And now you can see here comes the value from this portion. Like this is 30. So the overall length, like you can see this is 30. So the overall length will be 50. If I just click on OK and just go to analysis, go to measure. You can see this is 50. Why so? Because in the case of uh, limits, I have expressed the option as offset from selected. From offset, it is going to be 30 and this is 20. So this is how we can use the limit options in the extrude command. I hope you have enjoyed the learnings of the extrude command with the limit options. For the later part on the extrude, stay tuned to my channel. Please do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.